Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. So today in this video we'll learn to make a Spring Boot application and establishing connection with PostgreSQL database. Previously I have made a video of Spring Boot application with MySQL database connection. If you haven't watched that video the link would be in the description do watch it. So today we are using PostgreSQL. Postgres has some advantages over MySQL. As Postgres is an object relational database system and provides good performance with low maintenance and high stability and it is accepted in the industries as well. So let's go to the IDE and start making a project of Spring Boot. So the process remains the same how to make a project just that according to your needs some Maven dependencies might change. So as we are making a Postgres project so let us name this project as Spring Boot Postgres and let's do next so here we need some basic dependencies that are that is spring web and then we need spring data jpa spring data jpa and as in the previous video i mentioned that we were using mysql so we needed mysql driver so here we are using postgres so we need postgres sql driver right so we'll say postgres sql driver so we'll finish it up and our project will get imported i have already imported the project so i'll show you the structure of the project so the structure of the project is like this and i have already made the packages and the classes i'll not write the code again i'll tell you that how you, you can switch from one database to the another just by changing some properties in your application so the code remains the same the application file is test to application the main application file then our controller is employee controller which was saving the data to the database and then we have employee as our entity and then we have our repository employee repository which was extending jpa repository so the code remains the same let's go to the property files so let's go to resources and then go to the property files so here in the property files there are few properties that define which database are you using so that is the driver property actually so right now right uh, hbm ddl that that is the operation performed for, by the database uh, then this is our url to connect to the database so we are providing postgres sql url right firstly in the previous video i was providing mysql url and now uh, we need hibernate default schema uh, this is hibernate default schema this is defined as public i'll show you in the database as well so this is my username password and this is show sql true this uh, this isn't required as a as such if you want it you can write it if you don't want it you can remove this so let's go to the postgres sql first and see how look in the postgres sql when we log in to the data uh, the application of pg admin you can see that we have a database that is news app and in that news app there is already a schema called as public that database we need to create by running the query or by directly right clicking and creating a new database then there would be a public schema by default so our tables would be made in this public schema so we need to define that we haven't created our personal schema where our table should be made as it is public so we need to define here that our schema is public so default schema is public right so now if i run the application it should make tables in the postgres database so let me run the application first let me run the application spring boot application right so the application has started to run let us see it runs fine so hibernate queries have fired to create the table and yes the application is up now the application is running and the port is this now we go to the database now we check that the tables are made or not 
as we are on uh, we are performing operation on employee entity so employee table should be created so refresh it yes employee table is being created and some sequence is also being created by hibernate that is the default sequence the ids by by which by which the sequence the ids are being generated so that hibernate sequence is also created so let's go to the postman and hit the endpoint so yes uh, we'll say it as save employee and our data remains the same software engineer 2 and kevin's okay so let's hit the endpoint so I have hit the end point. Yes, the query is being fired. Now, as I have said that in the property file, I have said that show SQL is true. So the uh, SQL queries that are firing would be visible to me in the console. So this is the purpose of defining this property. So now that uh, the endpoint is it and we have got the successful results so it has been inserted so let's go to the table and say select all rows right uh, let's say script and select script we'll say select script and let's say okay so it should run fine we should have our data we should run the query okay so it is inserted so now this is the great advantage of hibernate we are using uh, spring boot is using hibernate as the connection establishment with the database with uh, all the operations being performed by the hibernate so this is the particular advantage so please tell me in the comment section that what what particular property of hibernate is allowing us to actually switch between the database and play with it i'll be waiting for that uh, answers in the comments so this is it for the video do share your queries and feed feedback in the comment do like share the video and subscribe the channel i'll be i'll come up with some other videos based on spring boot idea based applications so do subscribe the channel so thank you so much